Hi everyone, I'm Diane Applewhite. I've been saving calories all week for this indulging rum raisin bread pudding I am making today. I doubt if I have saved enough, but I'm gonna make it anyhow, anyway. Let me show you. This is a two quart dish that I grease with about a tablespoon of butter. And this is four and a half cups, about four and a half cups of a stale French loaf I bought over a week ago. I cut it up into cubes, about one inch cubes, and now I am going to put it into the dish. Now I'm making a milk mixture using three cups, that's two cans of evaporated milk, you can use uh, whole milk. I like using evaporated milk because that's what my mama used. I'm going to, I'm adding four tablespoons of melted butter. Three large eggs. I'm gonna put that in the bowl. I'm gonna put one and a fourth cup of sugar in this bowl. I'm gonna use a half a teaspoon of cinnamon. Half teaspoon of cinnamon, I'm gonna put in the bowl. And this is rum raisin, so I'm going to use one teaspoon of pure rum extract. And then get all of this, just keep whisking it in until everything is nice and well mixed together. The milk mixture is ready. You can almost drink it because it's that tasty. Now I'm going to Bring back the bread crumbs. Let me wipe this off a bit. And bring back my bread. And I'm going to pour this mixture all over the bread. Let me see how much of it can soak now and what I want to do is this to be nice and saturated with the mixture so I'm going to kind of mix it in a little with those chunks of French bread loaf. You can use any kind of bread but I like using the uh, French loaf. I'm going to pour in the rest of the mixture because, because I want this nice and saturated with the mix. You want to make sure it's nice and saturated. And now that uh, I've got it in there and I'm certain about the uh, saturation <laughs> of the milk into the bread, I am adding one cup of raisins. Now I know some people that will soak their uh, raisins, you know, in some in rum and use that. And I imagine that's delicious. I think I'm gonna try it one day. Not today though. And I'm gonna kind of mix that in with it. I'm gonna get these raisins mixed in and I'm just going to let this sit for about 20 minutes before I even pop it in the oven. The pudding is ready for the oven. The bread has been soaking now for about 20 minutes. 
I have the oven preheated to 350 degrees. I'm going to let it bake for about 50 minutes, no more than an hour. I will check it in about 30 minutes. I'll see you then. It's been about 25 minutes now, so I'm taking it out of the oven to check on it. To check on it. And to cover it with aluminum foil, this will keep it from uh, browning too fast. So I'm going to cover it up, back up, just a smidge. I don't want to burn my fingers. And then I'm going to put it back into the, the oven for about 20 minutes. So while the pudding is back in the oven, I'm going to make the sauce to go on top of it. I'm using four tablespoons of butter, a cup of sugar. Just going to mix it all in there together. Nothing fancy. I'll get it all mixed. I'm going to use one and a fourth cup. Uh, this is 2% milk. Get that stirred in a little. I'm going to use another large egg, one. Mix that in a little bit. And another teaspoon of rum extract. Well, actually, I'm gonna hold off on the rum extract until I get everything mixed because we don't want to lose that flavor when I start to uh, heat this over medium heat. I'm gonna go ahead and add about a half tablespoon of flour. I might use more, but for now it'll be a half tablespoon. And if you see any smoke, that's me dropping, uh, spilling some of this uh, topping on the burner. It's not fire. So I'm going to keep stirring until I get that uh, flour mixed in and those clumps out. And it is, I'm stirring this over a medium heat. I'm going to see how the sauce thickens before I add the rest of the flour, even if I have to. The sauce has thickened. Now I'm going to turn off the heat and add my teaspoon of rum extract. I'm going to stir that in. Take it off the burner and it is time, I believe, take out the bread pudding. Here's our bread pudding and we have the sauce right here. I don't think we're going to need to use all of it, but we are definitely, definitely going to put some on this bread pudding and really you can have it without the sauce it is just as good you see the raisins let's get some of the sauce on it I'm gonna start to spoon some of the sauce on it because I want to be careful about how much I put on here because you can always put it on afterwards. 
after you cut out a nice little piece you might want a little extra sauce on it so I'm just gonna spoon it on here mm, mm, mm. oh my goodness I cannot wait got my piece out I even put on a little bit more sauce for it mm, mm, mm. check it out mm, mm, mm. Woo. let me see mm. Run, ooh, rum raisin bread pudding. Rum raisin bread pudding. Thanks for watching. If you like the video, please like, share, and subscribe to next time. Bye bye.